Good morning, dear class. Hello, it's Miss Amy. And I hope you guys have had such a fun week working on all the garden crafts and um, science experiments and fun um, pretend play where we pretended we were a seed. I hope you guys had an amazing week because it was really fun to plan for you guys. Now, I want to tell you before we move on, because I'm going to read the Bible today. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about the yeah. Jesus Jesus connection. The Jesus connection to our lesson that we learned all week about gardening and seeds and Jesus is this. Do you remember when Miss Amy told you about all the seeds that God planted in our hearts and they become the fruits of the what? Fruits of the Spirit. So the seeds in our heart, when we listen to the Bible and we pray and we shine our Jesus lights, that helps our fruits of the Spirit seeds grow so that we can look more like Jesus. So when we are practicing being loving and kind and peaceful, peaceful, and showing our patience and our self-control, self-control, we are using our seeds and growing them into fruits of the Spirit. So that is a super cool, do it with me class, Jesus connection. Now today we're going to read about what's called the ascension and the ascension really just means up. So this is the story about Jesus going back to heaven. So if you guys remember the last time we read the Bible, Jesus was resurrected, which means he overcame death, right? And the tomb was empty and the stone was rolled away. And um, everybody shouted, he has risen. And that was so super awesome because Jesus died on the cross because he loved us. And then he rose again because he loves us. And now he's going to go back to heaven. So this is the story about what happens when Jesus sees his friends, what his friends think when they see him, and what happens right before he goes up to heaven. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready to share the story with you. Now this is the Jesus Storybook Bible, just like we read in preschool in the Dear class. This is called Going Home, The Ascension from Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, and John 14. Jesus' friends, oh, they were afraid. They were hiding in the upstairs room of the door bolted shut. But that didn't stop Jesus. He just walked straight through a wall. Wow. It's a ghost, Thomas screamed, and he hid under a table. I would have hid under a table too, I think. But guess what, guys? It wasn't a ghost. I'm hungry, Jesus said. What's for lunch? Peter gave him fish, and they all hung back and watched him eat it. This can't be, they were telling themselves. It's impossible. This isn't happening. But it was right in front of them. So if you guys look, there's Jesus and there's his friends. And oh, there's silly old Thomas hiding under the table because he was afraid, huh? Delicious, Jesus wiped his mouth. I think he would have been more mannerful. Like, delicious. He wiped his mouth with the back of his hands and he grinned. Can a ghost do that? He winked. Oh, they all laughed. I'm really here, Jesus said. And he really was. Peter's heart leapt with joy and he fell into Jesus' arms, hugging and kissing him. The others followed. They felt their hearts would burst from the happiness. Their friends ate together and they chatted happily. And every now and then they would just gaze at Jesus. And they would have to touch him just to make sure they weren't dreaming. So I think, I wonder, you guys take a minute and think about what would you do if you thought Jesus was dead and you were his friend and you were sad and you were scared and you were hiding in this like locked up room and then Jesus came over and had lunch. Would you be surprised? Would you be excited? Would you be amazed? Yeah, me too. Jesus had a real body, you guys, but his body was better. It had come through death and he couldn't get sick or be killed again. This body would live forever. Jesus had to come back with a brand new body. 
Not only were sad things coming untrue, the friends realized they were becoming new again. Was God going to make everything new? Jesus said, I am the savior, the rescuer of the world. And they knew because he couldn't stay dead because Jesus had come alive again, that somehow everything would be all right. There's Jesus eating his lunch, wiping his face, just like a normal day. I just love Jesus, don't you? A few days later, as they walked together, Jesus told his friends, it's time for me to go home to my father. They all looked a little worried and then remembered what Jesus had told them before he died. There's a place for you, I'll get it ready. Jesus had said, oh, you know the way. Thomas panicked, he said, oh, I don't know the way to get there. Yes, you do, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. When at last they reached the top of the highest hill to Jerusalem, Jesus turned to them and said, go everywhere and tell everyone the happy news. Tell them that I love them, love them so much that I died for them. It's the truth that overcomes the terrible lie. God loves his children. Yes, yes, he really does. Suddenly the whole sky was filled with dazzling light. Now everyone can come home to God, Jesus said. Death is not the end of you. You can live forever with your father in heaven because I have rescued the world. And there's Jesus and there's Jerusalem and he's at the highest mountain getting ready to go back up to heaven where he came from. Oh, guys, something amazing happened after that. Jesus rose up higher and higher and higher into the air. They had to shade their eyes, oh, and to see. They had to shade their eyes to watch him go until a cloud hid Jesus so they couldn't see him anymore. They stood looking up into the sky like that for a very long time, like this. Where did he go? Wow. Suddenly, two shining men appeared. What are you doing, they asked. Jesus has gone up to heaven. But one day he will come back in the same way you saw him leave, from heaven and from the sky. So Jesus rose up, 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 into the sky, behind a cloud and into heaven. And these angels said, he's going to come back the same way. So instead of going up, he's going to come down from heaven. Jesus' friends went back to Jerusalem with a strange gladness in their heart. And something Jesus said struck in their minds. Even though you won't be able to see me anymore, I will never leave you. No, not ever. I will be with you always and forever. How can Jesus be with us and leave us at the same time, they wondered. They didn't understand. But soon they would. So you guys, my dear class, can you answer to Miss Amy how Jesus can be with them even though we can't see him? We've talked about this before, remember? So we've said that even though we can't see Jesus, Jesus is everywhere. He's in our hearts. He's in our minds. He's in our shining lights when we're being kind and loving. He is everywhere. He's in you and he's in me. And he loves us so much. So before I leave you guys today, I want to say a prayer. But first, I think we should sing our song. Are you guys ready? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. 
Oh, I'm so excited that we got to read that story and that I got to share that with you guys today. I'm so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you. And before we leave, I want to pray and then I will see you guys next week for our lesson on Earth Day. Are you ready? So let's put our hands together like this. Open our hearts. Bloop. Open our minds. Bloop. Close our eyes, close our mouths, and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, oh my goodness, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you for all of my dear friends who are watching um, our videos and all the parents who are working hard putting together the lesson plans that Miss Gwen and I have planned. Um, may our lesson plans be intentional, maybe they be fun, and may the dear class continue learning even though we have to be separated. Dear Lord, please protect those who are healthy and heal those who are sick. Please watch over my dear class and their families and their um, brothers and their sisters and just keep everyone safe in your arms and just protect us all. Please uh, remove this COVID-19 from our lives um, and let us get back to our normal. Um, until then, we know you are working and we trust you and we trust your timing completely. We um, ask that we have a blessed weekend and everybody stays safe and um and they're happy and they're healthy and they're good friends to all. It is in Jesus' name I pray. And the dear class says, amen. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.